Hello again. This is Paul Crow, and we are here on the Spice Up Your Blog template gallery, which can be found at templates.spiceupyourblog.com. And this is a list and a gallery of the latest blogger custom templates. And we have templates being added every day, and there's hundreds of thousands of templates that you can have on your blog now. And you should really, as soon as you get started, get try to look to get a template which suits your blog, something new, something fresh, and something that looks a bit more professional than the basic templates. And by basic templates, I mean something like Minima, which is this one. And this is a tester blog which we have set up. And what we are going to do is we are going to use one of our custom templates on the template gallery on this tester blog. Now, as you can see, I'm using this template. It's called Minima. And when you start your blog on Blogger, you can pick from one of 16 default templates. And the 16 templates are similar to this, different colors, different things, bits and pieces, but they're fairly bland. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to show how to use one of the custom templates. Now, in this video, we are going to show you how to use one of the custom templates for when you're using Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is the browser that I'm using right here now. And what we're going to do is we're going to do two videos. In the first video of this video, we're going to be using Internet Explorer. And the next video, we're going to use Firefox. Now, if you don't know the difference between Firefox and Internet Explorer, you don't have to worry about it. Just watch the Internet Explorer one. Um, but there are differences. So if you were to watch this video and then try and follow those these steps on, Internet, on Firefox, you would find a couple of subtle differences and you would probably get confused and wouldn't be able to use the template. And that's the reason we need two videos to make sure and have you all covered. Okay, so... We're going to pick out a template here. Um, let's just scroll down, find one. Let's go for this rock band. Rock band blogger template called Music Lovers. So we're going to click into this. And we're going to scroll down along. And most of the posts on this template are set out in the same way. You'll see I'll have a little description of the template. I'll have a screenshot, which you can see here. It gives you an idea what the template looks like. And then when you scroll down, you'll see a sample link or a demo link and it's this link here and this link basically when clicked I'm going to open it up in a new tab we give you a look at how the template looks it'll give you obviously a demo of the, the template and beside that we have a template download link so you can have a look at the sample and see if you like the template and if you do you can use it so we're going to have a look at this template and here it is in use and it's compared to this it looks great and that's why you should have a custom template because this looks fantastic and especially for a music blog or something about music or even a personal blog if you're a music fan so the header is really well done with with the kind of rock band team in it um, scroll down along give you a full look at what this template looks like quite cool and in a couple of minutes we will have that template on this blog so let's go and see how we're going to download this template so beside the sample link you will see template download let's click that now, when you uh, download a template, you, you, there's a couple of things that may happen when you click a template download. You can see in this example, we are going to a site called box.net. Now, sometimes when you click download, you will get this pop-up straight away, and you can save the file. Sometimes you'll go to box.net or Google Sites or one of these other sites. If you do happen to come to one of these sites, you can just click the link again on that site to download, and you will get the pop-up from there. So we should get the pop-up to save. Here it is. Now, sometimes, as I said, when you're on our template gallery, you'll click link and you'll actually get this box straight away. And you can just click save. But we have to go through box.net. That doesn't matter. Let's click save. It should only take a couple of seconds to save it. Now, this is asking us where we want to save it. So we're going to save it in our downloads folder. As you can see, and you should remember that because you're, you're going to have to browse and try and find it later on. So we just remember that we have it in the downloads folder. You can change the name if you want, but there's no point. Let's click save. And that's saving for us. And that's saved. So look, okay, so let's open the folder. So you have open, don't click open, open folder, which we do, and obviously we don't want to close it. If you click open, it will try to open it maybe in a browser or in a in a in a file like a notepad file, which which is no good to you. So you want to open the folder. So let's click that. And this is opened our downloads folder, which contains the file. So the file should be highlighted, which it is here, as music lovers. Let's click true. We're after double clicking on that music lovers folder and we're brought to this page where we have the folder on its own now the folder and all the templates i would say 99.9% .9 of templates are zip files and before you can use a fi zip file on your uh, on your blog you have to unzip it so we need to extract it and to do this you don't have to know what a zip file is you just remember have to remember that when you follow through to this step you have to extract all files we're using Windows Vista, that option is up here, Windows XP it's over here somewhere, 
Windows 7, I'm not sure where it is, but you'll see it somewhere along the page to extract all files. And we're going to click that link. It will ask us, are we sure we want to do it? Yes, we do. Extract. And yes. And we're going to skip that. Yeah, what's actually happening here is um, I already have this file on my folder so, or on my computer, so it's asking me, do I want to replace it? You won't get that, but don't worry about it. You just click unzip and it will unzip it for you. And we have it here. So this is the unzipped, ready to use music lovers template file. Okay, and it's saved, as we've seen earlier on, in our downloads folder. So that's ready to go. That's ready to be put on your template, on your um, blog. So let's go back to our tester blog. And we're going to click customize. We'll open up a new tab so we can look at the difference uh, when we're finished. So we're going to get to customize. Now what you can do if you're just on your dashboard, just click layout. It'll bring you to the same place. So you can use the, the nav bar to click customize. So we're on to the, the layout page here. We're going to click the edit HTML link. And that will bring us through to our template HTML. And at the very top here, you'll see Backup Restore Template, and you'll see the option Upload a Template from a File on Your Hard Drive, which is exactly what we're doing. So let's click Browse for the file. So we're going to click Browse. It's through this folder, and we're looking for Downloads, which is here. And we are looking for Music Lovers, which is right here. So there's your Music Lovers template ready to go. We're going to double-click on that. We're going to click True. And it's what yeah, what what you can get here, I'm just gonna go back and show you here. What you can get is sometimes when you click through it'll just go straight through to the XML file. But sometimes you get what's called a README, which is here. And what that is is usually from just a couple of tips on how how the template is used or how to make changes or edits. And um, we don't need to read me and, and generally you won't need it once you watch this video, you'll know what you're doing. So let's click the, the actual music lovers file. That's gonna pop in there and we're gonna click upload. We'll now get the option whether we want to keep or delete the widgets that are on our blog. So if you have a blog going for a while, you might have some videos or pictures or links in your sidebars or under your posts or something. And this is basically asking you if you want to keep them or get rid of them. Um, I'm just going to delete them because this is only a test blog, so it makes no difference. But if you wanted to keep all those things, you click Keep Widgets. Okay, so that's telling me that that's all done. Let's view the blog. Once again, we're going to open up a new tab. And we're going to have a look at our tester blog using the Music Lovers templates haven't followed all those steps. Okay, so let's go in and have a look. This is what it did look like, and now this is what it looks like. And it's a serious improvement. So as you can see, we've uploaded it. Um, we've downloaded it from the bl Blogger Template Gallery, and we've uploaded it to our blog. There it is. Now, there's not too many things that need to be changed here. It's pretty much ready to roll. You, can, you would have probably kept your gadgets. You would have had them in your sidebars. And the template looks great. It's ready to roll. So you can find all those templates and these videos on templates.spiceupyourblog.com. And this is, of course, connected to spiceupyourblog.com, which shows you how to get the boat most from your blog or blog, tips and tricks on the appearance and performance of your blog. So your blog looks great, has all the great widgets and gadgets, and you know performs well then. It performs well on Google searches and performs well, gets more traffic and so on. You can get all those tips on spiceupyourblog.com and the templates on templates at spiceupyourblog.com. If you are a Firefox user, we have another video which will show you how all this is done using Firefox. So thanks for watching and get some cool templates.